Hey besties, it's your girl Catherine. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. Today, the temperature changed by one degree, which means it's time for fall. Fall is one of my favorite seasons. The leaves change. You get some nice hot drink beverages in action because it's actually a little chilly outside. Well, since it's not technically fall yet, I did want to step into my toes into Bath & Body Works. And if you want to watch the vlog that I made going to Bath & Body Works, you can watch it right over here. I'll link that in the description box as well if you want to watch that as well, but it will also be in the cards. I really want to buy things for this fall. I do have a couple of fall products, but this is going to be like the majority of what I want to use for this fall specifically. So this was the past recent fragrance that recently came out. Anyways, let me show you guys. This is Poppy. I got it in the fragrance mist and also in the lotion. The scent notes are fresh morning dew, wild poppies, sugared rhubarb, and juicy pear. I'm actually really shook that they brought this fragrance out during the end of summertime because this is such a perfect springtime fragrance for me. It's so light, airy, but it has like that sweet essence as well. That rhubarb is shining so nicely, but it's so soft and sophisticated. I think this would be like a perfect everyday springtime fragrance, but I could see myself wearing it right now since it is still like in the high 80s. This is a really nice one. So I ended up getting it in the body lotion as well. I honestly didn't have to, but I really, I really wanted to. There's a more floral fragrance in the body lotion. I'm going to spread it a little bit on my body to see how it reacts to my body chemistry. Oh, that is beautiful, you guys. It's just like a nice light floral. It's perfect to get into florals if that is what you're interested in. But it isn't as like strong and potent as I thought it was going to be. It's really beautiful. So I'm really excited to get this used. I love a good floral, especially since I have been trying to branch out. So I wanted to get this at least in the Fine Fragrance Mist and in the Body Lotion. Now here is another new major lineup fragrance that just came out as well. And I had to actually wear it last night to give you guys like my full first impression slash like review of the scent. So this here is the one, the only, bum ba da dum Midnight Amber Glow. You either love this fragrance or you either hate this fragrance. I am no longer going to be blind buying fragrances anymore, especially because of the new policy coming up in effect. So I wanted to make sure I smelled this at least like three times in the store. I did go into Bath and Body Works at least around last week just to give it a whiff. And I liked it a lot. The fragrance mist smelled so good. And then a lot of people said that the fragrance is definitely different in like the different versions of the product as a whole. So like the lotion, the body cream, it smells different than like the fragrance mist and so on and so forth. Let me tell you guys the scent notes first of all. This has smooth amber, caramel latte, and vanilla bourbon. Now when I initially smelled this in the store, I got this delicious sweet caramel latte. It almost gave me a vibe of a little bit of a sexier almond blossom, but it had that sweet essence. And then I went ahead and smelled the lotion because sometimes the scents can vary in different products. And there was like this almost nauseating, inebriating fragrance of amber or bourbon. It just smelled like the first time when you smell whiskey for the first time ever. That's what it smelled like to me. And I was like, whoa, that is intense. Hence, it was so, so strong. So I was actually going to get like a body cream or a lotion in this scent because of the fragrance mist. It's so beautiful. It's really like light, but I'll continue on with that in a little bit. But if you want a super sexy, intense amber body cream, body lotion, Midnight Amber Glow in those forms is, it's so strong. It's really, really strong. It'll literally stick to your skin. But I decided to just only get the fine fragrance mist and then I smelled the moisturizing body wash and that had like a nice delicious caramel latte. It's not too strong on the amber. I used it last night. It was really nice and beautiful. It definitely made me feel like I was ready to go out 
at night but more of a cozy vibe like i was about to go get some drinks with my friends and just have like a night out of the town kind of vibe but kind of like a low-key kind of thing like it's a kind of, it's kind of like a chill vibe but this one kind of makes it a little bit more sophisticated when i wore this last night the fragrance mist especially i paired this with the love beauty and planet takuma butter and vanilla body lotion I'm actually not a really big fan of that lotion because it takes a long time for it to melt on the skin and the scent is very light, but it is really good for like a cozy night in. I paired it with this because I thought, hmm, if this is way too intense in the amber note, I could downplay it with that lotion. Okay, so I was expecting this fragrance to be really strong, like intensity wise, like I only have to apply this once and then I will be able to smell it like six, seven hours later with how I reapply. Also, you guys, I have used like this much right here too. So you guys can kind of tell how much fragrance I use every appliance. So I wore this before bed. Okay, so when I was spraying it, it smelled strong and had like that nice amber note. I do love a good amber, but smelling the amber note in this particular scent made me realize this is probably why not many people like the fragrance amber. Like it can be really nauseating for some people, which I normally really enjoy amber. But in this fragrance, it almost feels like it's trying to combat with the caramel latte note. Like it's trying to be sweet but it's also trying to be sexy at the same time. And that can be a good thing, especially if you blend a fragrance correctly. It just felt like more of like it being an outsider, in my opinion. I'm expecting this to be super strong, super potent, like in the body lotion, especially that amber fragrance. But as I was spraying it, I was continuously spraying. I didn't feel the scent was getting stronger. I felt like it was just kind of like a background noise. So let me explain this. Okay, whenever I spray You're the One or whenever I spray Into the Night, the more I spray, the more intense it gets. But the more I sprayed with this, it wasn't really doing much for me. Like I just felt like the intensity was just remaining the same. And then normally, okay, fine fragrance mist, if you build it up, they last forever, right? But I was expecting for this scent to continue to linger whenever I woke up. I woke up, sniffed myself. If I thought really, really hard, I can get like a tiny bit of a flavor, but it really wasn't lingering as I thought it was going to be. So overall, I highly recommend to go into the store if you live at a store really far away maybe make a trip do like a weekend trip to your local bath and body works and give this a whiff you're either going to love this fragrance or you're either going to hate this fragrance to me this is almost like their version of trying to do like a black opium or just like a super intense sexy fragrance but it's not intense i want it to be strong i want it to be pungent and even though the lotion and the body cream carries more that amber note, the fragrance, it's kind of weak in my opinion. I would say this is kind of like a three out of five on throw and all the fragrance mists that I use, I was expecting it to be strong. I really do like this. I will keep wearing it, but I'm not sure if I will repurchase it, but this definitely will be a fun fall fragrance to wear also in the winter time as well. With the strength it holds, which isn't that strong, this is a great fragrance for a beginner. Definitely, if you want to get into perfumes, perfect beginner. It's not too headache inducing, but you have to like amber to like the scent. And I love amber, and this one was kind of like a miss. But either way, that's all I have to say about this fragrance. Midnight Amber Glow. Please let me know what you guys think about Midnight Amber Glow. So next up, I got a fragrance that I loved last year, and a lot of people in my comments, you guys didn't really like it, but I love it and that's all that matters. So this right here is Wicked Vanilla Woods. Last year's packaging was so fun. It was like a nice gray and black theme. This year is like starry nights, some bats, a little, little spooky for spooky season. I'm so excited for it. It has magical vanilla, amber wood, and pink pepper. You guys, I'm, I'm gonna, just gonna do it. I'm just gonna spray it. This one has more of a stronger pepper note in my opinion. I think if you're not into Midnight Amber Glow, give this one a shot. This one is just definitely sweeter with the vanilla. 
It's strong and it has like that smoky essence. If you like Bonfire Bash, you're gonna love Wicked Vanilla Woods. Very beautiful. I also got it in the body cream. I didn't get the body cream last year, so I decided to get it this year and rock it. And then I also got it in the shower gel. You guys, look how pretty that is. I'm so obsessed. I'm really excited to wear this during fall cold season. It's gonna be so good. Speaking of Wicked Vanilla Woods, I also had to get her cute twin. So cute. I ended up getting Enchanted Candy Potion. Like seriously, the packaging is adorable. I love the pink aesthetic. It has spellbinding sugar, bewitched berries, and whipped pixie dust. Now, a lot of people have said that this is very similar to Boardwalk Taffy slash Cotton Kitty Clouds. And if you know me, or if you've watched my channel for a long time, you know one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works is that Boardwalk Taffy, that delicious cotton candy cloud vibe. I know that scent from the back of my head. So let me give this a whiff real quick. This smells almost kind of like medicine. Oh, and the store, it smelled a lot better in my, my humble opinion. <laughs> Why am I saying it smells like medicine? I really enjoyed it the first time around. I'm gonna try the body cream on my body, of course. Hmm. You can smell more of that berry and sugar in the body cream. I like the body cream a lot more than the fine fragrance mist. I'm gonna spray, whoa, did you guys hear that? That spray was so loud. And then I also got it in the shower gel as well. So I'm gonna give that a whiff. I smell more sugar, but whenever you rub it in, with like the water and then you scrub it, you could smell more of the fragrance coming out. That smells good, I like that. It just reminds me of candy, really. Now that I sprayed it on my skin, it smells a lot better, but in the bottle, it has kind of like a cherry cough medicine vibe. I think that might be from the berries. Maybe that pixie dust, who knows, honestly. I like this a lot more in the store than the now though. The dry down, it kind of does smell a bit like Boardwalk Taffy. Has very similar DNA vibes from that sponge sugar note. It's, it's a little different though, I will say that. I can't really put my finger on it. It's more of like a candy version of Cotton Candy Cloud slash Boardwalk Taffy. So I got the whole set, I did. I'm really excited and uh, it's just it's just so cute. Okay, next up, they had the most beautiful aesthetic packaging I've seen in a while and that is the Cozy Collection. They had Cozy Season and that one's a lavender bottle. I smelled it in the store and it just smelled like a light lavender refreshing fragrance to me. Not too herb-like, but it did have just like a very subtle fragrance. The throw in the store, it's it was like a 1.5 out of 10. It wasn't really strong, so I didn't want to get that, but the packaging is so cute. I'm gonna say that. And also, I was caught between getting the new packaging for Sweater Weather and the Fine Fragrance Mist. It's so beautiful. I love that shade of green. And honestly, I feel like it smells a little bit different this year than the past year. I have the fauceted version, the gray version from last year. And I feel like the sweater weather from last year was a little bit more intense, but I did end up getting the lotion in sweater weather so I can have a matching lotion in it. Did I have to? No, but did I want to? Yes, it's so musky, but in a good way. The scent notes for Sweater Weather, by the way, are sun crisp apple, autumn leaves, and orchid woods. That's really beautiful. I feel like this is kind of like a daytime fragrance for me for the fall time, whenever it gets really chilly, like in the 50s. It's very nice and comforting, and I feel like I wanna branch out more into like those unisex musky fragrances. So I'm really excited about that. And then you guys, I had to get this one because I was really debating, I'm only gonna get something from this line, from something from fall that's different, that's not sweet that does have like a different vibe and this right here is so oh it's so pretty first of all and also it smelled really good in the store so i ended up getting pink suede in the body cream and also in the fine fragrance mist the scent notes are blush berries velvet peonies and soft cotton okay when i smelled in the store i didn't really get those notes but now that I'm smelling it, yeah, I, I can see it. So it's definitely a warm, floral, clean fragrance. So if you love a good, clean, floral hybrid, put it into fall mode and this is what you get. It's so beautiful. I could see this being like a nighttime fragrance as well. Wow, that's so delicious. I think the name Suede definitely hits the criteria. Like this fragrance does smell like suede or like a 
leather jacket in my opinion. It has that tiny bit essence though of sweetness, the tiniest bit from the berry. But other than that, this is what I low-key was expecting Midnight Amber Glow to smell like minus the suede part. It smells really good and this is how like you blend. This one's really strong as well. I did spray it on my wrist before leaving the store and it lingered really well. So you probably don't need a whole bunch of sprays like you do with Midnight Amber Glow. Not me comparing Midnight Amber Glow to everything right now, but this one is really good. I would say this if you want a more intense, sexy, sophisticated, elegant scent for the fall time, that isn't so gourmand. If you're not into gourmands, you will like this a lot. It has almost a perfume-like fragrance, and I think this is gonna be very, very good for the fall time. So definitely check this out, guys. Please let me know what you think. One of my favorite, favorite fragrances from Bath & Body Works is Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. It's, it's probably one of my favorite gourmand fragrances for the fall time that they release. I get it every year, or I stock up one year, and then I like use the rest of the sprays. I have the 2020 version of the Fragrance Smiths and I'm on my last one of that. So for a semi-annual sale for winter time, I'm going to have to stock up for the Fragrance Mist. But this is my first time getting the body butter in Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. And I don't have any type of Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte body lotion or cream. So this is the first one. I haven't even opened this, you guys. It looks kind of opened already. Hmm... I'll be fine, right? It's it's fine. I, I'll be okay. But anyways, I really like this fragrance. The body butter is so delicious. Whoa, that creamy sandalwood. And also, it's really thick. Well, it has like that nice creamy pumpkin note. I highly recommend to get the body butters whenever they have like a $5.95 sale or like a $4.95 sale. They are so good. Like they're so thick and very dense. So they will last a long time. That is all the body care I got. But then I also participated in their $2.95 soap sale recently. So I want to show you guys what I got there. So the first one I got was flannel. Now this is a very musky fragrance, but my mom loves musky fragrances. So I thought I would get this for her for her bathroom. This has crisp autumn air, heirloom mahogany and cedar wood. She loves a good mahogany teak one now and then. And it's good cedar wood. Me, not so much, but yep, definitely musky. If you're a big fan of the musky collection, aka the men's collection, you will love this. Very, very strong and pungent. So this is for her bathroom during the fall time. Mm -hmm. And then I also got Marshmallow Fireside, an OG. We love to see it. I had one last year, loved it during the fall time. It's so cozy, it does have a tiny bit of a musk, but also that sweet marshmallow note combines and blends in really perfectly. So I decided to get this. We all know her. We all love her. I also got Cozy Vanilla Almond in the White Barn packaging. So simple, so sophisticated. This has vanilla orchid, sugared almond, and sweet musk. I haven't had an almond fragrance in a while, and this one smells so good. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit gourmand, but not too overwhelming, so I thought this would be so perfect. I could put this out year-round, but if I put this at the end of October, I could if I wanted to. I also got this really fun fruity fragrance. I was gonna get the Autumn S'mores. I was really close to getting it, but I didn't because I have a lot of gourmand hand soaps already. So it's just like, okay, let me just cool it. If I see it at my annual sale, I'll buy it for next year. So I ended up getting pomegranate and blackberry. I haven't had a fruity hand soap in a while. So I decided to get it for the fall. <laughs> this has autumn pomegranate, sugared blackberry, and vanilla spice. Ooh, spice. I'm not a really huge spice person. Let's give this a whiff. Oh no, that smells like a blackberry apple cider. That gives me cider vibes. Oh, that's so beautiful, you guys. You have to get this if you love fruity fragrances or if you want something for like a change, you don't want like an apple fragrance, try this out. That's so good. And I love I love good pomegranate scent. So this is really nice. And lastly, I had to get Enchanted Candy Potion in the faucet packaging. Of course, if you're spending $2.95, you gotta get the heavy hitters, the $8.50 hand soaps. So I had to get this one because I did have the body care in it. This one's a lot lighter, but I still smell that cough medicine. No, I don't know. I don't know what it is, you guys. I also got another one for my sister. It almost smells like lychee. Wow, it really does. Some people say lychee. It has like a lychee note. Okay, that might be what it is. Let me smell it in the body care one more time. No, they smell 
kind of different. The hand soap is a lot lighter than the body care. I will say that. The little moon crescent is so cute. I love the little detail that they did. I also got two wallflowers, you guys. So the first one I got was Enchanted Candy Potion. You see, this is why I, I can't blind buy things because I blind buy this because I smelled it in store and I loved it, the fragrance mist. And now I'm just thinking cherry cough medicine. So I got that. And then I also got Marshmallow Fireside in the Wallflower. I am a huge fan of Wallflowers. They're so easy. They're low maintenance. You only have to change them like once every like month and a half. But if you get tired of the fragrance, you can switch it in in between. So then you don't get nose blind. That's what I've been doing. It's been really fun. But yeah, you guys, that is everything. I have had to come to a realization that I need to figure out my decision whether or not I like Enchanted Candy Potion. I'm still trying. It, it'll... It's definitely better on my body though, for sure. The body chemistry does wonders, okay? So that is everything, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know down below if you are getting anything from Bath & Body Works or if you're waiting for the Fall 2 setup. And I do know that there are gonna be some like new other fragrances, but I'm definitely going to try best to not buy too much, especially in the upcoming months. I've been doing my collection videos and you guys, it's a little intense. So I gotta make sure that I buy just enough for the season and then wait for semi-annual sale. So yeah, that is everything. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much for watching my videos and taking the time to like and comment. That's insane. And also for subscribing. I never ask for you guys to subscribe, but those that do, you are the best. I appreciate you so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I will see you soon or talk to you soon, maybe. All right, well, bye guys.